Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well. I hope this video, I hope I found you in good spirits. Um, I'm your host, Kieran Truss, with another how-to video. In this video, I'm thinking more from a cybersecurity standpoint. Uh, we want to talk about locking down our storage accounts. So that this way, we can say, okay, if you're coming from this network, you can't access it, or we only want to permit access based on uh, safe locations, and that would be something that's uh, internal to our organization. So if you look at your screen right now, I have a storage account. And this storage account is in the East U.S. region. And let's get to understand what's going on for our storage account a little bit. So we go to our storage account. We could go to containers. And we can see containers. We have a few containers there. We have container one, container two. And if we go to our file shares, we do have a file share here. And this file share here is finance, marketing, and new their um, directory that's there. So um, we don't have Active Directory set up for this. So we're just going to have to, you know, connect to it through our file share script. And if you don't know how to go about doing that, you would just come over here, click connect, and then you would get show script and it will show you exactly how you sign into your um uh, specific file share all right um, we can I, I'll have a video up about how to connect versus using a through Active Directory but that's a little bit out of the scope of this uh, video so what I really want to focus on is networking so we click on network and you see here we have three columns right three tabs that we can really click through so there's firewalls and virtual networks there's private endpoints and then there's custom domain so we we'll really focus on this one is firewalls and virtual networks um, private endpoint connections, custom domain, it's just uh, deserves videos on themselves of really how to set that up. So that's a little bit out of scope of this one. But I really want to focus on firewalls and virtual networks. So if you look right now, it says public network access. It says enabled from all networks. This is something that you really wouldn't want to do. Um, you would enable from selected virtual networks and IP addresses, and then you would be able to go through here. So before I go ahead and make any modifications there, I do want to show you um, some other stuff that we're utilizing within this lab. So if I go to my next tab, I see here I have three virtual machines. One is in a stop state. That is our DC Scholars, Cloud Scholars VM. And then we have a VM in East US and we have a VM in West US as well. So what I want to do is I want to jump over to those two VMs. Matter of fact, before I even jump into those two VMs, let me go into a PowerPoint deck to show you exactly what we're going to test out within this um, demo. All right, so what we have here is what our demo is going to showcase. So we're going to have a virtual machine in West US, and this person logging in from there. And then we're going to have a virtual machine in East US as well, and we have uh, another user logging in from there. And what we have in the cloud is as our Azure uh, file storage, right? Where you see this little storage coming out there with some files that's for our file share and what i want to show you is with our virtual networks and in that firewall and networking section what we're able to do is define who can log into our resources and from what network so what we're going to do is i'm going to log into both networks and show you that we're able to get in through both pcs i should say both virtual machines and show that we can get into the azure portal and we also can connect to that file share. But then what we're gonna do later on is we're gonna go and remove one of those networks from um, from that uh, firewall and networking. And then this way we're only allow access to our West US location. And I wanna show you how you go about doing that. So this way you can apply it to your organization. Okay, so now I'm on one of my virtual machines, but I've gotta figure out which one this is. So let me go into command prompt. I'm going to say host name, and this is East US. So here I am in East US, and I'm going to open up uh, Explorer, and I'm going to say documents. I'll go to this PC. As you can see, this one's already connected to our file share. If I click on it, I get to see what's in the file share. Remember, when we were in the portal, we were able to see finance, marketing, and new dir. right? So let's click on marketing. Let's open up this document. And there we have, it's an NFT. Good. So we're able to get in there, we're able to see what's going on there. Now, you go pull up the portal, I'm already logged into the portal. If I go into storage, and I go to scholars account, and I go to containers, 
and I go to file share, I'm still able to see what's going on. So within here, I'm fine. So let's see what machine we're on. We're on East US. All right, let's jump over to the West US and see if we're able to see the same thing. All right, now I'm on the West US machine. And what I'm going to do is I just want to make sure and show you that I'm on a different machine. Good. That's our West US machine. So I'm going to come over here to the directory. And you can see the file share is already connected. I already ran the script. So in the file share, I put my finance. There's nothing in there. Marketing. Let's see if we get to pull up our NFT. All right, we're able to pick up our NFT. Now, I hope you notice it took a little while longer to open this up. Remember, this storage account is in the East US. This is West US. So just keep that in mind. Um, so, you know, we're able to open it up. And now let's see if we go into the portal. And there we are. We're in the portal. I'm able to log in. And if I go to storage accounts, and I hit Scholar's account, and I come down to the containers, I'm seeing everything, container one, container two, and I'm seeing file share as well. All right, we're good. I can see everything. So what we want to do is I'm going to uh, come out the portal. I'm going to go into my local machine, and I'm going to go through the portal there. But what I'm going to do is make some modifications on, on the other side. So we're still in the portal here. I'm going to go in through my browser and then take it from there. All right, so here I am back on my local desktop and I'm going to go into the scholars account, the storage account. Now, yes, I could have made these modifications on the virtual machine, but I wanted to show you exactly how things are changed. So I just did it this way, but you can do it on the virtual machine as well. Once you're in the portal, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure if you're if you're on the portal, you don't kick yourself out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to networking. And I'm going to go to files and virtual networks. And I'm going to say I'm going to enable from selected virtual networks. And I'm not going to add a new virtual network. I'm going to say existing virtual network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, which virtual network do I want to stop the behavior from? Now, if we go back to our PowerPoint slide, the virtual network in our PowerPoint slide was East US that was um, no longer had permission to access the storage account. So let's go ahead and uh, stop the access from the East US location. So here I am back over here. So I'm going to say RG East US. And then I get to choose which subnet. So if you have like 10, 15, 5 subnets, doesn't matter, on, in a specific virtual network, you can say, okay, I'm going to permit this subnet, this subnet, but I'm going to say no to this subnet, this subnet. But for this case, I'm going to say, you know what, I don't care which one it is, I'm going to prevent from anybody in that subnet, right? Um, so it's giving me a message just saying enable service endpoints and stuff like that. We don't really have to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, you know what? I need to do it the other way. I'm sorry. I need to go here and I need to click on add network West US because that's what I wanted to do. And I believe we're in this one for the marketing SB, but we're just going to say we're going to select all of them and we're going to say enable. So, you know, sometimes you make a little bit of mistakes, but I caught myself in that one. So I needed to enable it instead of uh, I was thinking I was just preventing it in my head for some reason. So I'll say, okay, add, and then that's pretty much it. So you can see it says, you know, enabled from selected virtual networks and IP addresses. So as you can see here, we have all these subnets that is enabled, and then now it should work from only the West US location. But don't forget to come up here and click save. And then those changes are going to be applied um, to your organization. So let me go back to our West US uh, PC and let's see what's, if anything was modified. Okay, we're back on our West US machine. We should not have any uh, issues on this machine because remember, we allow this machine to have access within the virtual network. So I just wanted to pull up the command prompt so you know which one we're on. And I'm going to hit refresh. And I'm going to hit refresh one more time. Now, this really shouldn't matter because, hey, the access is permitted. So let's say scholars account. We're going to go to file share. We're going to click on file share. 
and we're still able to see the documents. If I come here, remember I was already in this one, so I'll come out of it, come back, open it back up again. Still taking a little while because it's coming and communicating from all the way from the East US and still have an access. All right, let's see how well our East US machine works out. All right, Cloud Scholars, we're back here on our East US machine. Um, as you can see, this is the command prompt. I'll run that same command again, East US. So we know in the East US machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to this PC and look what happened here. I'm getting a red X. The red X is there because I only permitted access from the West US location. And if I were to come into our, our uh, screen and I were to say, let's refresh this. See, this machine doesn't seem to have access. So really quickly, that's, that's how you would um, be able to uh, you know, lower who can access um, your virtual networks. I should say virtual networks. This is how you stop people from being able to access your storage account. This is, a, this is one way of many of securing your storage accounts. So um, this, is a, this is a really quick, simple how-to video. I just wanted to show you exactly how you go about it using the... Um, Azure uh, storage account, the firewall and network settings, so that this way you can now permit access based on subnets or virtual net networks within your environment. So I hope you found the content in this video to be valuable. Um, please, if you haven't done so, please smash that like and subscribe button here at Cloud Scholars. Our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.